Now let's go into Genesis, the sixth chapter. But remember now, we're going to look. You, you remember that lineage we just got through with Adam? This is the generation of Adam. Mm -hmm. He started and he talked about Seth, sisters and brother. Didn't mention Cain. Remember, Cain was the oldest son. Mm -hmm. So you couldn't mention uh, uh, Abel because he was dead. That's right. But it looked like he should have mentioned Cain, Cain. shouldn't it? Mm -hmm. But he didn't mention Cain. You know why? Because God disinherited Cain. And we have two sets of people on this earth now. Oh, they're all flesh and blood, but they was called two different people. And we're going to find out who they are. Go ahead, 6 and 1. Genesis 6 and 1. Go ahead. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, uh -huh. and daughters were born unto them. Go ahead. That the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, uh -huh. and they took them wives of all which they chose. Now look, this, is, this created the myth that the angels came and laid with women. That's why you got giants on the earth. <laughs> I said, but all of them giants was drowning. But then you had giants on this side of the flood, right. the sons of Anak. That's right. One of which uh, 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 Goliath was. Mm -hmm. No, sisters and brothers, it wasn't that. Remember God didn't even mention Adam, uh, uh, Cain. Cain? So now, who are these sons or daughters? These daughters of men? We are going to let you know, but one thing with it, the Lord said when these sons of God start taking them to wives, then the Lord made an observation here. Let's see what this observation is. Mm -hmm. Verse 3, go ahead. And the Lord said, my spirit shall not always strive with man, uh -huh. for that he is all, also his flesh. Go ahead. That his days shall be in 120 years. Well, it must be a great thing. The Lord at first, he just said this man wouldn't live a day. Mm -hmm. But now all of a sudden, he saw that the sons of God, Looking upon the dogs of men and start marrying them dogs mm -hmm. of men, all of a sudden he cut you down to 120 days. Yes. 120 years. Must be something great. Because he said, My spirit are not always going to strive with man. Now let me show you first thing. Let's find out who these sons of God are. Let's go into Luke, the third chapter. We're going to start with the one that have the title of being the son of God, son of God, which is Jesus. And we're going to run his lineage back. Luke chapter 3. Luke chapter 3. Because this is much more, sisters and brothers, just dealing with Israel. Israel is a part of a machine that the Lord has put in motion. And we got to do our part. If we don't do our part, then we have to be fixed. And the Lord got a way of fixing you. Because first thing is, if you get broke when you're dealing with the Lord, that's because you won't listen. So the Lord will come, and he will hit you upside the head. And now he'll ask you again. Then you will listen. People don't understand that, but everything around you, he's showing you that. If you got an unruly child, if you don't ever discipline this child for being unruly, they will get worse, worse, worse. And when they get older, they're going to either kill, be killed, or go to jail. But if you discipline them, sister and brother, it's for they good. Then they'll be corrected. It's all that simple. Luke 3, Luke chapter 3, and let's start at verse 21. 3 and 21. Go ahead. Now when all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also being baptized and praying, the, he the heaven was opened. Uh-huh. And the Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon him. Go ahead. And a voice came from heaven which said, Thou art my beloved son, and thee am I well pleased. That's when the Lord became the Christ, or the Messiah, or the anointed one. Because wasn't nobody on earth clean enough to anoint Jesus, but he was anointed at his baptism. So he said, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Go ahead and read. And Jesus himself began to be about 30 years of age. Go ahead. Being as was supposed, the son of Joseph, uh -huh. which was the son of Eli. Now, he started running his lineage. But Jesus didn't even get baptized and he was not, did not become the Christ until he was 30 years old. Why is it that this man that had unlimited spirit and unlimited knowledge, even mm. when he was a 12-year-old, that's why he was able to uh, deal with them elders. Why did he wait to 30 to be anointed and start his ministry? Because it was the law. Mm -hmm. See, this is what people don't understand. Sometimes you learn something on your way to learning something. I hear people say all the time, well, I have a die, we have a dynamic young minister. Is that right, How old? Well, he's 26 years old. <laughs> Can't be no minister of God, because right away he broke the law out the door. That's right. 
Y'all understand what I'm saying? So now, he said, the son of Joseph, which was the son of Heli, go ahead. Which was the son of Matthew. Uh -huh. Which was the son of Levi. Go ahead. Which was the son of Melchi. Uh -huh. Which was the son of Jana. Uh -huh. Which was the son of Joseph. Now, we, we ain't going to read it all. Skip down to 31 and go ahead. Which was the son of Malia. Uh huh. Which was the son of Mina. Go ahead. Which was the son of Mathatha. Uh huh. Which was the son of Nathan. Uh huh. Which was the son of David. Now this is King David. Let mm -hmm. you know he came out of David's lineage. Now skip down to verse 37. Verse 37. Which and was, go ahead. Which was the son of Methuselah. Uh huh. Which was the son of Enoch. Uh huh. Which was the son of Jerah. Go ahead. Which was the son of Malila. Which was the son of Canaan. Uh huh. Which was the son of Enoch. Go ahead. Which was the son of Seth. Uh huh. Which was the son of Adam. Uh huh. Which was the son of God. Ain't that something? Which was the son of Seth. Which was the son of Adam. Which was the son of God. You notice that Cain was absent, sisters and brothers, mm -hmm. because the Lord had disinherited Cain, and everybody come out of him was his children, and they behaved like him. Remember, this guy Lemak killed a man, didn't he? Mm -hmm. So who was the sons of God? The one, yeah, sisters yeah. and brothers, that was led by his word. That's why I said my spirit should not always strive with man. Let's go into Romans 8 chapter and look at that. Romans 8 chapter. But things have gotten upside down because people simply have not understood the word of God. Why? Because it hasn't been taught, sisters and brothers. That's why a lot of times people have a whole lot of disagreement, but they disagree from a foundation that the Lord didn't lay. So wait a minute, let's get in the book and just look at it. Let the Bible speak. That's why we named our program that. The Bible speak, let it talk. Men mm. been talking too much. <laughs> and nobody bothered to pick this Bible up. Romans 8 chapter, Romans 8 chapter and verse 1. Verse 1, go ahead and read. There's therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. And I agree with that. People will read it. Well, see, I'm a Christian and I love the Lord. There ain't no condemnation mm -hmm. in those that are in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. I said, but keep reading. Go ahead and read. Who walk not after the flesh. Now here is the hook. Who <laughs> walk not after the flesh. Go uh -huh. ahead and read. But after the spirit. But after the spirit. Mm -hmm. That's the whole thing. There is an addendum to it. That's right. Now let's get down and look at some of this. Skip down to verse 5 and go ahead. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. Uh -huh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Those that are after the flesh, things of the flesh, after the spirit, the things of the spirit. So we got to find out how is it that you know that you are walking after the flesh or walking after the spirit. Right. We need to know that. That's right. So read the next verse. Go ahead. For to be carnally minded is death. For to be carnally minded is death. What's the carnal mind? Go ahead. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Uh-huh. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. Wait a minute now. The, why is this death? Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, mm -hmm. not the spiritual mind. Mm -hmm. So what is the carnal? Mm -hmm. Why is it? Why does it hate God? That's mm -hmm. what enmity means. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. For it is not subject to the law of God. For it is not subject to the law of God, sisters and brothers. This is what people don't understand. Mm -hmm. The very thing that God gave to let you know that you're walking in his word, which is his spirit, because Jesus tells you in St. John, the sixth, sixth chapter, the words that I speak, they are spirit, and they are life. Mm -hmm. But man, have muddled it all up, so you don't know what you're listening to. So he said, look, those that are in the flesh are imminent, but against God. Mm -hmm. They hate God, because they are not subject to the law of God. That's right. Go ahead and finish that. Neither indeed can be. And as long as you come of mind, you can't be. That's why when you Lord told you not to cast your pearl before swine, you're trying to show somebody the word, and they keep coming up, kicking, and come up with some other one. You know what you do? You shut up and go on about That's your That's right. Pearl. That's right. Because as long as they come of mind, they cannot be subject to the word of God. That's right. Go ahead and read. What verse? Verse 8. Uh-huh. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. So those that don't in the flesh, these are people that don't keep his law. You can't please God. How are you going to please God if you steal? That's if right. you kill? You bear false with it, otherwise you're lying. If you commit an adultery, how are you going to please God? That's people right. tell you can't keep that old law. <laughs> well, then what is it that you can keep? That's right. This is the whole thing. Man don't know what he's doing no more. Mm -hmm. You go to church, you don't learn nothing. You tell you ain't got to keep the law. That's right. Got some of them say, well, you got to keep the commandment, but nine of them, you don't have to keep the one, the Lord's Sabbath day. <laughs> it had to be important to him because he put it right, right in, in the, the ten principles, sisters and brothers. 
These are the principles by which you shall live. That's what the law is. So if you walk in the flesh, that means you don't keep the commandments. Go ahead and read. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Wait a minute. But you are not in the flesh, <laughs> but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwell mm -hmm. in you. Go ahead and read. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Now, if you don't have the spirit of Christ, you're not his. You go to St. John on your own, the sixth chapter. And go read on your own, six and, uh, uh, chapter 6 and verse 63. Mm -hmm. It'll tell you what spirit is. Mm -hmm. His word. His word. His word. That's why he told his man, can't hang out around me no more. But I, will, I refuse to let you learn how to become God. Mm -hmm. But people don't think in that way. You know why? Because average person don't even know what God's purpose is. We're going to find it out in this lesson. Mm -hmm. Now skip down to verse 14. Verse 14, and go ahead. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God or are led by the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. They are the sons of God. They are the sons of God, sisters and brothers. That's why when God saw the sons of Adam and Seth marrying the, the daughters of Cain, he said, whoa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These boys ain't going to listen to me for That's a right. long time. Mm -hmm. They're going to stop listening to me. So now, if they're going to turn evil, and he know it, because I can tell you, the earth got all, that's why the Lord had to drown it. Because them daughters of Cain had some real power. <laughs> that's why the Lord said, look, their spirit is not on, it's not going to, mm -hmm. my spirit is not going to always strive. In other words, these guys ain't going to always walk in my word. Mm -hmm. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut their lifespan down. I'm going to cut it down to 120 that's years. Right. If you're going to be evil, you're going to be evil for a minute. Mm -hmm. And not for an hour. So the whole thing, sisters and brothers, says, long as you're led by the Spirit of God, you are the children of God. But it got to the point. People stopped following God. The Lord said it got to the point that every thought of man was evil complete only. Evil. It was yeah. complete evil. Every thought he had was evil. Mm -hmm. So we had to take this man down. Now, let me show you. 